In this Wix tutorial, let's take a look at how to edit drop-down menus on your Wix website. To do that, there's three different areas we're going to look at. The first would be to add the actual pages to your drop-down menu. The second will be the design of it, or the design of certain aspects, and then the layout of it will be the third. So first, we need to actually create a drop-down menu. So in our Pages and Menus section, if we have that main menu at the top of our page, we're going to look in here to nest pages or other elements inside of other pages to create that drop-down. So this will be a sub-menu or a drop-down menu of the About uh, menu item. So we can add menu items, like I could add even just a link to anywhere else, like maybe youtube.com, right? And so we're going to add in that link, and we can name it. And this is just as an example. And then I can click and drag that into this About section. So maybe I have the YouTube channel About and then the contact underneath about, right? And so we have a couple of items here, and this will be a drop-down outside of, uh, or underneath about. And so that's how you can add different elements to your actual drop-down menu. Then we have layout options and design options. So first, the horizontal menu, if we click on it, we can design it. And so inside of the design of it, we can pick themes of how our menu looks, then we can customize the design of that theme. And so it'll ask us, you know, do we want to adjust the menu container, the drop-down container, the drop-down items, the menu items. So we can adjust all of this stuff here. So if we have menu container selected, we can adjust the background fills, the borders, everything like that. That's our main menu. And then we have drop-down items. So like the drop-down container. So we see our drop-down right here. We can actually change things like do we want it to be filled gray? We could do that if we want. We can actually drop the opacity of it or just have it be 100% 100, uh, 100 opacity. We have three dots here. We could duplicate this. We could add different layers here. So you could really layer in a lot with the background fill of your um, drop-down menu here. And as you have multiple, you can delete them as well. And so then we can add or adjust borders here. And so we can add a border if we want. Maybe it's, well, 50 pixels. That's a little bit too much. Uh, but maybe there's a border here of like one pixel that we wanted. I'm going to make this look bad, but I'm just showing you guys that we can adjust this. You can adjust the corners as well. So maybe we want some rounded corners to our drop-down menu. And shadows. Why not? Let's do some shadows. We're going to blur the shadow a little bit. So we got a big old shadowy drop-down. And then we have layout down here, but that's just the container. We also have the drop-down items themselves. And so we can actually adjust the text, the borders, the corners, everything to the actual drop-down items and the background fills. And you can adjust all the different states. So this is regular. When you hover over it, what does it look like? When you're on that current page, what does it look like? And so you can adjust all of those items as well as the container uh, for your drop-down menu. Now we also have layout, which kind of just means the different padding options here. And so if we kind of increase the padding, you can see it increases the padding of that drop-down menu. Now what about between items and what about the layout in general and like how it drops down and all that kind of stuff? So this was in the design, the menu design. All of that will be in the layout. So we click on this menu again and instead of design, we're gonna go to layout Inside of layout, we have options for our menu itself, like horizontal spacing, etc. And then we can go to drop down and we can adjust that. So, how do the drop down menus open? Or do they fly out from the element or are they columns? Like you can adjust that as well. More than likely, you want to fly it out. How's it lined up? Is it left aligned with the element or is it centered? Uh, you know, the same thing with the items inside of. The drop down are they right aligned with each other or centered how's the horizontal padding on those items what about the vertical padding how's that what about the spacing between items can we have some space between so you have all of these options that you can adjust with the drop down menu layout so you have layout and you have design and that's how you can edit your drop down menu then you can go preview it and take a look at what that looks like so we're hovering over about and we get this drop down menu that shows up here uh, this is not designed well, but I didn't promise that. I just promised I'd show you how to edit all these different areas. And so you can really change the drop-down menu uh, to be whatever you want.
appear on your Wix website, and that's how you can edit drop-down menus on Wix.